Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibz07 here again, and welcome to another new series that I'm going to be doing on my channel. This is going to be my 120 Slayer series. In this series, I'm obviously going to be going for 120 Slayer from my current level, which is 101. I haven't actually trained any Slayer since 99, so this 101 Slayer is simply from bonus XP or XP lamps off of daily keys, and also doing my Reaper tasks quite often ends up you know building up a decent amount of xp over some time so i'm basically gonna be going from 101 to 120 but i mean i'm still just gonna probably i'll probably end up saying 99 to 120 every now and then during the series but whatever uh, i'm just about three mil xp past 99 so it's not a huge difference in terms of the amount of xp i'm going to be getting uh so we don't really need to worry about it too much but yeah, this series is going to be pretty cool. I'm probably going to end up doing it a bit similar to how I did my 10 mil Slayer XP challenge series back in the day. You guys might remember that if you've been around for a while, but I'm basically just going to be showing a lot of my tasks and loot, and I'm also going to prioritize going for like bosses on tasks and stuff like that. I'll probably go for DKs when I get the option, Zami God Wars, Armadil God Wars, um, you know, whatever ends up being the, uh, the ability to have boss tasks, I will go for them probably as often as I can. And it's going to be pretty cool to see how much loot I end up getting. And just in general, it's going to help me stay motivated to getting 120 Slayer. Now, my current loot tab does have my Telos loot still in it from the first episode of my Collection King series, as well as my Bandos loot from getting the Ben, uh, uh, all the drops at Bandos from 99 Attack, and some racks loot in here as well. Um, so I'm thinking I'm probably I might just keep this loot tab going and then add on to it with the Slayer loot, but I'll have to continue thinking about that as I go because I'm not 100% sure on how I want to do things yet. But this series will also include my Reaper tasks. I think I think I'll also include my Reaper tasks that I do pretty much daily, although sometimes I don't because those will include Slayer XP and that'll be pretty cool to see what I end up getting if I get any drops from those or stuff like that. But yeah, I am slowly going for comp, so this is a good series to have just to get on my way towards that 120 because it is obviously a comp requirement and I'm looking forward to it. So my first task right now is Aberrant Specters, which I think I got from Simona because I needed to get a task from her for the Desert Achievement set. So that is why I have those. So I'm probably not even going to show uh, any loot from them, but I will show me getting my next, uh, my first task from Morvron once I complete it. Okay guys, so I just completed my first task, which was Aberrant Specters. Like I said, it wasn't really my first task for the series I guess but I had to get it done just to get it out of the way so I can go get a real task from Morvron here I actually got an uncharted island map from there I recently s started doing stuff on the arc and I, I didn't I didn't even know you could like get these as drops but anyways um, I just went ahead and did a game of cabbage face punch to stock up on VIP tickets I have 14 now and we're gonna go ahead and get our first task for this series uh, officially Let's see what we can get from Morvron here. I want to get Dark Beast so I can get the title of the Isleworth for comp, but I'll take pretty much anything at this point because we're just getting started here. And we get 92 Nihils or 156 Elves. Well, I guess I can go kill some Nihils. Those aren't too bad, and you can get the uh, pieces of their for the summoning pouches. So yeah, that's not too bad. I'm not. I don't mind them too much. Don't really want to waste my Slayer token for Elves or anything. So I'm going to go kill some Nihils here, and I should have mentioned I also am going to be doing Clue Scrolls on this series, which means I should go ahead and do my hard Clue Scroll that I have in my bank. So I'll probably show that loot in the next clip, even though it's not technically part of the series. Might as well just throw it in for, you know, you guys to see. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys for that. Alright guys, we got a hard Clue Scroll casket here, like I said we would be doing these during the series, so I got this one out of my bank. And I figure I might as well throw it in for the video. So let's see what loot we get from this. Boom. And uh, it's a magic combo. 672k. I'll probably end up just keeping this. Even though I do have my reroll available. Uh, maybe I should just reroll though. I'm not sure. Reroll. Uh, yeah, you know, we could reroll it I think. This stuff isn't even that great. Uh, otherwise, just the fortunate component. And I'm not too worried about just getting those, so we'll, we'll go for the reroll. 
Oh my god, it's absolute trash. Well, we got the court summons, I guess. That's I think you need those for trim or something, but other than that, it's pretty garbage. But either way, I'll take the court summons, I guess. Um, but yeah, we do have nigh hills as our next task, so I'm gonna go do those. I just got a Vecna skull from fucking nigh hills right here, you guys. Oh my god. <sighs> That has got to be the most depressing thing I've ever seen on the ground in my life. Jesus Christ. That is like supposed to be super rare. Ever since the luck rework, they said they made that super rare. And you know what else is super rare? They need a signet ring and we get the fucking stupid ass Vecna skull. I can't believe it. I'm done. I'm done. Alright guys, just finished my Nine Hills task. Still can't believe I got this fucking... Vecna skull. It's it's really just unbelievable, but they're pretty good tasks, pretty fast, and the XP there is not so bad, so kind of like doing them. They also drop their like talons and stuff, which I yacked back, uh, and those are worth quite a bit once you make them into the Nihil pouches, so that's definitely something I will be saving up and then creating once I am probably selling off the loot, but 1.2 mil in regular loot, not too bad. And I also got a hard clue, which I'll be doing in the next clip, but I'm going to go ahead and get our next Slayer task here. Just teleport to Morvron, see what he has for us here as our next assignment. And we get Crystal Shapeshifters or Dagonauts. Well, I don't really even know what Crystal Shapeshifters are. Like, I think I remember trying to do them once on my Hardcore, and they were kind of ass. And I kind of feel like going to DK's because I haven't been to DK's in forever on the EOC so I think I'm gonna spend my token to take the Dagonauts and uh, we'll try some DK's out start working on the maybe on the collection uh, for the collection series and also you know getting towards that pet for uh, I guess the collection series as well but like and same found boss everything like that should be pretty cool see you guys for the clue and then DK's Okay, we have that hard clue scroll loot coming in here, you guys. Let's see what we can get from it. Hopefully better than the last one, I guess. Although, kind of regret that I re-rolled away that magic compo, but whatever. The court case is nice to get. But let's go ahead and pop it open. And wow, pretty bad, honestly. Meerkat scroll is never good to see. Although they are actually making meerkats useful during the clue scroll rework. They're making them increase your elite clue scan range, but... I don't think the scrolls are going to change at all, so they're still probably going to be pretty uh, worthless, but not the greatest reward. Either way, though, I'll take it, whatever. And um, yeah, I'm about to head off to Dagoneth Kings for this task. Should be pretty fun, and I will show you guys any loot that I happen to get. Okay guys, so just finished the Dagoneth King's task, fully completed at the DKs of course, and I have the loot here in my inventory as you can see, managed to get 8 drops in total, unfortunately 4 of those ended up being Seer Culls from Supreme, that is pretty unlucky, but I did get 3 hatchets and a Seer's Ring as well, and the only regular drops I picked up were Water Talismans from Prime. Dagonoth bones in general because I do have the Fremenic Sea Boots and they do note and the DK's teleports because I don't know most of the other items are pretty much either worthless or just like you know not don't just don't feel like picking them up but we'll see what the loot is worth here we got 1.6 mil in the bones and just the regular drops in general is about 2 mil then we can add in the special drops I got mainly the hatchets that are really worth anything ends up being about 5.5 mil, so not too bad. Um, I feel I could have gotten a few more hatchets instead of those circles or something like that, but I mean most of the rings are pretty worthless as well, so you tend not to get too much money from there, but I do want to do the DKs whenever I can, at least until I get the collections com the collection completed, so all the pets and all the drops. Um, so I'm, I'll definitely be taking those tasks in the future. I also got a hard clue scroll, which I'm going to go ahead and do, and I'll see you guys for that loot. Alright, I'm thinking this is going to be my reward here when I hand in this puzzle box, and it is, wow, over one mil reward because of these puzzle skipping tickets, which are obscenely priced and should never be used. I just did that puzzle, puzzle box in easily under a minute. Um, they're really not that hard to do uh, <laughs> if you just take the time to learn how to do them. So anyone that uses these, like honestly, is just 
just <laughs> I don't know what like what you're trying to do. Like you are really just wasting your money on those 318k just for skipping a puzzle box. Really not worth it. But yeah, pretty good clue there. Gonna check all this stuff into the clue tab. But before I end this clip off, I usually will do this before going to do clues. But I forgot to grab my next layer task before going onwards to do that clue scroll. So I will go ahead and do that. Let's see what we get from Morvron here today and oh he was he, he's going to give me the special challenge I'm actually going to do this because I need to do it for it's either comp or trim or something but I'm just going to go ahead and do it um, so yeah I guess I got to go kill a bunch of bosses or some crap like I'm not 100% sure what it entails but I'll probably just be back for the next Slayer task Okay, so I just managed to complete more of Run Slayer Challenge, unlocking the famous title. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass, honestly, because you have to go around to like so many bosses and just get a one-off kill. And then also, it was like getting the KC at God Wars 1 was a pain, but I'm glad I got it done because it is something that I, you know, I'm pretty sure you need for some cape, either trim or comp, not sure, but... Uh, glad I got that there, that done, and now we can go ahead and get a new task. I also got a hard clue from like Arma KC or something like that, so yeah, that was uh, pretty cool. Going to do that for the next clip as well. But first we'll get our next assignment, and we actually have a choice between Black Dragons and Dagonoths. And I uh, think I'm going to stick with the Black Dragons since we just had DKs, and um, I don't know if I'm going to do this whole task at QBD, but I think I'll definitely try out doing some QBD for... Uh, at least the first part of this and um, hopefully we can get some drops from there uh, on my way to the full collection that's the only real reason I am doing these lower-ish bosses because I don't really feel like doing them if I already had the collection but I do need to get the collection done for my series and I just want to get it done in general so I will go do some QBD I actually got a Royal Torsion Spring on my kill during the challenge which was kind of funny but yeah, going to go ahead and uh, head off there after I do this clue scroll. Or maybe I'll do the clue scroll after. I'm not sure because it doesn't really matter because QBD doesn't drop them. Okay, we have our hard clue scroll casket here that we got during Morvron's Slayer Challenge. So I'm going to open this up, see what we can get from this one. And oh, we actually got another court summons. So I think I am going to keep that just so I can you know, continue knocking those out. Uh, other than that, pretty lackluster loot in general, but I'll take the court summons and we do have the reroll for our next clue if it tends to be uh, bad or, you know, not have what we're looking for in it, so that's good as well. Um, but yeah, another court summons out of the way. Gonna go ahead and uh, go complete that. All right, so I just finished my Slayer task of Black Dragons, which I did do entirely at QBD. So I did get quite a few drops uh, for my collection series, and you can just show the tab here. I got five Torsion Springs, three Sights, and two Stabilizers, as well as a Visage and a Dragon Kite Shield. Also got quite a bit of Royal Dehyde and Dragon Bones as well. And just the normal drops you get from QBD on the side there as well, which includes like Runor, Onyx Bolt Tips, and uh, Addy and Cole, Lanta Dimes, stuff like that. So QBD is always pretty decent money. Not as good as it used to be, of course, anymore, but the Dragon Bones and Royal Dehyde always managed to keep it pretty consistent there. And I definitely really like getting the real crossbow pieces for the collection so I'm pretty happy with the, the amount that I got although uh, I think my drop rate of them was a bit lower than it tends to be or the average if you look at the actual drop rates because if, as far as I can tell based on the wiki it's about four in every 25 ish kills which means you should expect to get about one in every seven or eight like basically one in every six to eight kills ish so since i did i think it was like 105 kills or so my drop rate was about one in ten so a little bit lower but still pretty decent and the d kite shield is one in 128 visage one in 109 so pretty nice that i got those unfortunately no dragon bone upgrade kit which is one out of 64 but 
Yeah, and I, get, I did get kind of unlucky with getting five Torsion Springs and, like, did not end up getting the frame. But still, pretty happy with that. We'll continue doing my QBD or my Black Dragon tasks exclusively at QBD until I do manage to get the collection completed. And then I'll go to KBD. And then after that, I'm not sure what I'll do with those tasks. But they don't tend to be very common as far as I know, so not a huge concern at the moment. But, yeah, I don't know why my game is not loading in here, but we're going to get a new task here from Morvron. See what we can manage to pick up from him here. Okay, we have Greater Demons or Rune Dragons. I really like to do Rune Dragons, but Greater Demons also gives me the opportunity to go to Zamorak Gobbler's Dungeon, which will be pretty cool for the collection series. And uh, just as, it's pretty good XP for Slayer in general as well, so I might actually go there, I think going to keep those. Keeps the Slayer ticket as well. Um, 366k to 102 Slayer, so I might actually be able to get that from this task. I'm not sure how much I'll end up getting, but yeah, uh, about to go do this task at Greater Demons for at Zami God Wars, and I'll see you guys for that. Alright guys, so I am coming up on the last kill of my Greater Demons task here at Zami God Wars, and I am not going to overload for it because that would be a waste of an overload, but it took me, this is my second hour, so just about two hours, a little bit less than that for this full task, so not too bad, I, I thought it would be a bit longer than that, but it is actually not too bad at all for a full pretty large task. I think you can get up up and over 300 if you do have it preferred, but I'm not sure though. Um, but yeah, that's the task completed right there. Pretty happy with that. I did do it one trip at a time, like I, I logged out in between, so I didn't do it two hours straight, but still definitely pretty decent loot in the uh, inventory here. I got two garbs of subjugation and a hilt as well as a ward, so four drops total pretty decent and then I just got you know the regular loot in here as well three god sword shards an elite and a hard clue which I'll be doing in the next clip and three pieces of Zami war priest so all in all pretty good I guess I can go in for a price check of the whole task uh, I didn't bring yak scrolls so I didn't bank anything really I didn't bank the ashes at all and I didn't bank any of the uh, rune items I if I ended up having a full inventory I just disassembled stuff that was in my inventory but uh, yeah, 2.8 mil in normal drops, including the God Sword shards, and then when we throw in these things, about 8.7 mil, so not too bad. Um, getting me some drops for my collection series, as well as working on that pet, you know, gonna get close to that threshold. I think I might be pretty close to that, actually. Yeah, I'm only 18 kills off the first threshold as well, so that's pretty good, but um, yeah, before we actually go do these clues, I'm going to go grab another Slayer task here. Um, whoops. So let's go ahead and head over to Morvron, see what we can get. I kind of just want to get a regular task here because I've had, I think my last three tasks were boss type tasks, DKs, QBD, and then Zami. So I would like just like some Eretz or something like that it would be kind of nice. Celestial Dragons, uh, I guess I'll do them. I don't know. Celestial Dragons are kind of boring for me, but I don't think they're worth skipping. Oh, Greater Demons are on my prefer list. They're the only thing on there. I definitely need to sort out my prefer and block list for sure. Um, most of this stuff on my block list is pretty good at the moment, I think, but uh, I definitely need to get some stuff on my prefer list. I definitely want to try and get some Dark Beast tasks because of the fact that you need those for the of the Iowerth title, but yeah, done with Zami now, and I'm going to go do these clues. Okay guys, so we have our two clue scrolls here, the Elite and the Hard, both got the caskets here. I'm really looking forward to the update when they do the clue scroll rework, which is supposed to be in January, where they are going to make it the, like it is on Old School, where you'll always get the casket regardless of if you search a crate or whatever, but uh, I got lucky on the Hard. Sometimes on the Hard Clue you search a crate or something and you end up getting the reward, but did manage to get the casket this time and um, have the Elite Puzzle casket solved here so we're gonna go ahead and open that up first see what we can get from this one and oh, I, f I always f I, I literally always do that I forget that you don't just close it because I'm pretty sure when you're doing the um, the puzzle boxes you just close it and it unlocks but this has the button so let's unlock it 
and that is absolutely terrible so we are definitely going to use our reroll which we have available here hopefully to get something better wow two ancient page fours and generally not so great uh once again um better than what we had though so the reroll definitely worth doing there and we got two of these unfortunately ancient pages aren't worth very much uh there's several other books that have more valuable pages but I guess we'll take that and then we can open up the hard casket here for pretty bad reward a lot of items more than you usually get but i'm going to reroll this one as well only 128k no fortunate component in there we can re oh my god what is that pretty sure i actually have it's worth more honestly i'm pretty sure i think the other one was 128k so you know whatever i guess at least we improved but still pretty bad no fortunate components through the whole clue unfortunately but yeah gonna go do celestial dragons now and i will almost always get a hard clue from them so we'll probably have a clue for that and i'm actually i am gonna get 102 slayer quite soon at those i'm really close so i will record for that and then once we do the celestials and then the clue scroll um we might do one more task or we might end the video off there with the level up because that might be cool i'm not sure but anyways i'll see you guys for the next clip Okay guys, so I am about to get my first Slayer level on the series here at Celestial Dragons, like I said. Already actually got a hard clue scroll, but I mean, I don't really feel like leaving and then coming back. At least not yet. Maybe I will soon, but there is my first Slayer level on the series, up to 102. And, oh, 2700 total level as well. That's pretty cool. Didn't realize I was getting that. Um, but yeah, I don't think you unlock anything at this level, no. Um, but I will at the next level unlock the Menophyte Workers, which I believe are the highest level corrupted creature, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, uh, Celestial Dragons are quite a boring task in general, so I'm just gonna semi AFK and just kill them like I always intend to do. Probably will end up disassembling a lot of these room plate bodies because I didn't bring elks and definitely am not gonna be banking, but. Yeah, that is, uh, that is my first Slayer level for this series, but we still got a long way to go. Okay, we just wrapped up that Celestial Dragons task. Honestly, pretty boring, these tasks, but uh, it's nice to have a little bit of AFK on them. Uh, the money is okay, but not great. Um, so it's pretty average, but the XP is quite good, and so are the charms. Although I don't really care about the charms too much, if I ever want to go for 120 summoning, that will be important. Got 1.2 mil from that, and also a hard clue scroll, which we'll be, we will be doing in the next clip. Should probably turn my prayer off, but I'm going to head over to Morvron now and grab ourselves another task. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit more for this video. Um, I want to get my 160th task done, because that means I can... Um, do I, I'm gonna get this task at Morvron, but then I'm gonna get my next task in uh, at Shilo Village because I need the uh, it's either a hard or elite task for completing uh, like the tenth task in a streak at that master, which is unfortunate because I'm gonna lose out on points. But I think it's uh, something I want to get done for the task sets. But yeah, let's see what we get here. Uh, Nine hills again or Eretz. Well, I guess I'll just keep the Nine hills. Uh, they're not too bad and. Might as well just do them instead of wasting my Slayer ticket. So, yeah, some more Nine Hills for uh, the next task. All right, we've got our Clue Scroll reward here. I got kind of lucky. The uh, this spot right here was the both the last step and the step before it. So I had two steps in a row here to finish the clue off. But uh, yeah, just make sure I got my Luck of the Dwarves on, and let's see what we get from this clue. Wow, that's a pretty bad reward. Yep. Not much else to say. Pretty trash. Only 89k, no fortunate components or anything. So, kind of unfortunate, but yeah, I'm going to head off to Nye Hills now. Alright, just completed my Nye Hills task here. Uh, always a pretty decent one. They're usually quite quick and the XP is not too bad. But uh, they don't really drop too much stuff. I mean, there is like, I think the you can get a Zarite bow from here at like a one in a million drop rate, literally. Um, so that would be kind of hilarious to get, but yeah, 738k from that, and also the uh, the talons and like the the things you make the pouches out of, which um, I will probably make the pouches in like at the end when I finally finish the goal. So not going to do that just yet, but 
yeah, I'm gonna go get my next task at Shilo Village to make sure that I get that uh, achievement done, and then uh, after that task, I will probably just wrap up the video, um, and we will move on to uh, to episode two. So I think this has been a pretty good episode one so far. Quite a few cool boss tasks and stuff, but without further ado, let's go ahead and see what our final task will be from Lapalock. Steel dragons. Uh. Well, uh, it's a pretty quick task, pretty easy, so I am just gonna do it, I guess. But um, yeah, this is this is why you don't uh, you don't want to use the lower Slayer masters because they tend to give less uh, exciting tasks for sure. But I'm gonna go do some steel dragons really quick, and then I will see you guys for the end of the video. All right, just completed my task of steel dragons, and I got the ten in a row achievement that I was trying to get. Thankfully. Um, Nothing really to show here. I actually got 50 uncut dragon stones as a rare drop table drop, and uh, I I also got a court summons. And on my old main, when I was getting Slayer up, whenever I did steel dragons, I would get a court summons. I don't understand why they seem to have such a high drop rate of these, but if you're trying to go for court summons for you know comp or trim or whatever you need them for, then I would recommend steel dragons because they seem to drop them a lot. Also got a hard clue, so I will throw that in before the end of the video, but. Nothing really to talk about from these in terms of drops, just the uh, dragon stones and then, you know, some rune limbs and whatever from them. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to head back to Morvron now so I can continue getting tasks from him. Like I said, I really want to get Dark Beasts as my main uh, priority because that is how you unlock the Of the Ioworth title. And that's something I'd like to get before too long. No, I do not want a special assignment because I already did that thing and we got Gano Beast or Dagonos again. I guess I could do some more DKs for the start of the next video. Um, yeah, why not continue working towards that collection and uh, they're pretty fun to do. So yeah, I will uh, just throw in the uh, clue scroll once I finish it and then we'll end the video off. Wow, uh, I wasn't expecting the reward here from this guy but I just got a Fury T from this clue scroll, along with the U combo, which is pretty good. 2.6 mil in total. Although I'm pretty sure a Fury T is quite rare from uh, from these. Like it's it's not as rare as things like dies or third age, but it is pretty rare. And I've had like four of these in my life now, or on this account even only, I think. But <laughs> I guess I'll take it. 2.6 mil hard clue, pretty good, but yeah, I guess that's one way to end the video, you guys. Gonna go ahead and end it off here. Um, hope you all did enjoy it. I did go ahead and do that court case beforehand so I could have a chance of getting one from the clue as well. But um, yeah, this has been the first episode of my Road to 120 Slayer. And I am currently 102, 17.7 mil XP with 1.6 mil to go till 103. So obviously still a long way to go on this, but looking forward to uh, doing it a lot because of the intensive telos I've been doing for the past over a month now. It's going to be nice to be, have a little bit more of a relaxing uh, time doing some Slayer and going for uh, going for 120. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this video, you guys. Next video we will start off with Dagonoth Kings, which should be pretty cool. And I'll see you guys for that. Peace.